Welcome to NDL Gamer. Today I'm going to share with you a unique strategy that will make catching Pokemon in Elf Explorer easier than ever. If you've struggled with capturing those rare Pokemon, then this video is a must watch. With the Dragon and Octopus combo, you'll have an incredibly effective tactic at your fingertips to conquer any challenge. Stick around to discover how to master the game, and I'm confident that after watching, you won't have to worry about catching Pokemon ever again. Let me briefly introduce the combo of the two Pokemon I use. The dragon is named Hexorus, and it has a skill called False Swipe. This skill prevents the opponent from dying, as it always leaves the enemy Pokemon with 1 HP even when the damage is enough to knock it out. This way, you won't have to worry about accidentally killing the opponent's Pokemon. The second Pokemon is an octopus named Toadscrewl. It has a skill called Spore, which puts the opponent's Pokemon to sleep 100% of the time and has high speed, making it perfect for catching Pokemon. Since the accuracy is 100%, the opponent's Pokemon cannot escape. I'll share the locations where you can catch these two Pokemon at the end of the video, so please watch until the end to support me. I usually catch all the R, SR, and SSR Pokemon so that I have them available for any missions that might come up later. I can evolve these Pokemon to complete those missions. As for the end Pokemon, they're easier to catch, so I just attack them right away to get berries. <coughs> First, I boost the damage because I haven't fully built it yet, and its base damage is already high. After buffing, I use the False Swipe skill to deal damage to the opponent's Pokemon while ensuring it stays at 1 HP. Then, I switch to the Octopus Pokemon to use the Spore skill. As you can see, it puts the opponent's Pokemon to sleep 100% of the time, making it easy to catch. However, it only has 15 PP, so to be safe, you should buy additional PP recovery items, which cost just 75k gold. Catching Pokemon is really easy now. I'm gonna fast forward a bit because the next sections just repeat the steps I've already shown. Now we've encountered a challenging situation. The dragon's skill is a normal type move, so it doesn't affect ghost type Pokemon. In this case, you'll have to switch to the octopus to put it to sleep. Since its HP will always be full, it will be harder to catch. But don't worry, because the octopus's skill is always accurate, so you don't have to fear it escaping.
Finally, I got the Pokemon I needed for the mission after three rounds of 10 searches, which cost a total of 90 zip. Watch how easily I catch it. Here, I encountered another situation where the opponent's Pokemon has an evasion buff, which means the Octopus's spore skill is no longer 100% accurate. My advice is that when you face this type of Pokemon, you should switch the Octopus to the first position right away to safely catch the wild Pokemon. After catching it, I'm going to turn in the mission. Just wait a moment and I'll guide you through more Pokemon catching spots and share a few additional tips. First, the octopus can be found on Route 19. You can also encounter its R version here, which you can catch to evolve it. I managed to catch an R version to evolve it yesterday, but I didn't find any SSR Pokemon. I used one lure, but didn't encounter an SSR even once. Really unlucky. Now for the dragon, it can be found on Route 17. You can easily catch it here because this route has SSR, SR, and R versions. Just catching one of these three will be a success. The other day, I managed to catch an SR, but I didn't get an R or SSR. Here's a small tip, bring a Pokemon with Hypnosis abilities even though it only has a 60% success rate because it can put Grass-type Pokemon to sleep, which Spore cannot. I recommend Gothitelle as it's quite easy to catch. Thanks for watching. I hope these tips help you catch Pokemon more easily in Elf Explorer. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or additional tips, drop them in the comments below. Stay tuned for more guides and tricks right here on NDL Game. See you next time.